Hey everybody, Liberty here, and today we have some champion strength discard aggro style deck. Basically, we're trying to get a bunch of units out and then pound down the champion strength. But first off, let's start with a little story time. When we first started trying to queue and make this deck video, I kept not being able to draw champion strength. No champion strength, but we really need our champion strength. Where's the champion strength? We need to get our champion strength. Come on. Where's our champion strength? Problem is we haven't drawn champion strength once. So we can't seem to find it. It's almost like it's not even in the deck. Now TC9 had a pretty good theory why I wasn't able to draw the card. How many champ strength are you running? I'm running three of. Are you 100% sure that you added it to the deck? XD. TC9, I'm... No, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 99% sure. Isn't that close enough? I swear it's in the deck, guys. I swear. Okay, I'm playing the long game. I swear. Yeah, I'm room and salvage. I'm an idiot. And lo and behold, it wasn't even in the deck. I spent a full hour recording this video without champion strength in the deck. So I put in the three copies, finally having the proper deck to play with. And we got some pretty good games out after this. This card is so strong that it may be meta defining. I'll break down exactly what I mean by that after game one. Enjoy the games. Gosh dang it guys, I'm so dumb. You two tried, you tried to save me. That is totally on me. That's a hundred percent on me. Well, you know guys know what that means. Streams longer today. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely played it for like at least an hour. Yeah, we've got it, guys. Imagine drawing, just actually drawing the champion strength because we have it in the deck. Wow, so cool. Isn't that crazy how that works? Eyes up here, or I'll cut them out. Isn't that crazy? Cutthroat, fair enough. I'll be quick. Pike Kale is fun. We'll see if it's any good, though. I kind of doubt it. It'll be good. Kind of doubt, but you never know, right? Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Hello, you best friend. Do, 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 so that our hex, uh, hex, um, dude can, uh, tick our champion strength down. Because we're attacking on, we're attacking on evens right now. Which means we can swing this on turn seven. And we will. Okay, guys. We have it. We literally have a turn seven champion strength. It won't be like it first. You guys ready for the unfairness? Or a turn four champion strength, I mean. <laughs> Why would I be ashamed of this glorious power? <laughs> What a rush. After all those games we played with it, not even in the deck. This makes it all worse. Lethal on turn four. Whew. He needs to kill any of our stuff he can. So if he has a uh, misfortune spell, we lose. The the bullet time, pew pew pew. A bone skewer, sure. Boogier, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a great idea, I'll do that. I think we still have... Yeah, they surrendered. <laughs> I cannot believe we stinking did not have it in the deck. 
Uh, yeah, I'm already doing the walk of shame. That's true. We might even be able to take masters with this now that we it's actually in the stinking deck. Now, after seeing game one, you guys might be thinking that champion strength is far too strong and must be turbo nerfed. Now, while the card definitely may deserve a nerf, all that's going to actually happen here is a heavy meta shift. A card this strong simply requires you to have an answer in your own deck. Whether that's running Demacia so you also have champion strength, using Trell Yordian or Shadow Isle style board wipes to remove the units before the champion strength lands, or just denying the spell outright, you simply need to run an option that counters the spell. This boils down to three options when deck building. You can run champion strength with Demacia, you can run counter spells with Bandle City Ionia or Shrima, or you can run unit removal with Braillard, Piltover, and Zahn or Shadow Isles. Is that a bit restrictive in what kind of decks can be meta? Sure. Does it break the meta though? No, not at all. Runeterra is a game designed with lots of counterbalances, but importantly, the existence of a strong spell does not break the game, it just shifts it. Good luck with your deck building. <laughs> Okay, we have Boom 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 Rummage. So Boom 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 Rummage will help us draw into it. Come on, give me my champion strength. Hello there, Garrow. Welcome to the stream. We have a slightly longer stream today because Liberty did a dumb. We were playing champion strength for like a good hour without champion strength in the deck. There it is. What a beautiful card. Mwah, mwah, mwah. It's so nice to actually have it. <laughs> it's so nice to actually have the card in the deck. Hopefully he goes for the greed or it does the layer on. Totally doesn't need a hotfix crew. Base scholar. I'll take five damage. It's okay. We are attacking on odds though, which is huge for us. We're attacking on odds. Hexcorn, perfect. Attacking on odds, 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 odds. odds. Odds, 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 odds. We're attacking on odds. Come on, Mr. Opponent, don't rope us. We're just gonna donk you in the face. Just gonna donk ya. And they'll say donk ya back. Okay, we need a bank. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we have double. We have double. <laughs> this card so needs a hot fix. What the hell? We just went for free and he doesn't have a counter. He literally can't do anything. <laughs> We're going to play a, a flame chompers and then champion strength. And then we win. Right? <laughs> what is this deck? Feeling good. They have freeze, yeah, but they can only freeze two things. I don't care if they have freeze. We have six things. They can only freeze two of them. GG's, I win. I'm playing a broken card. Nah. Now if they have two of freeze, they can win. Or they can live. I shouldn't say win because we have our own. And he has a cane. Well, yeah. No. No luck for him then. We'll do this. 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 He kills one of our things. 
Uh, thing is, we have a scout, so uh, it does not matter at all. Totally balanced card. <laughs> what is, this this definitely needs a hot fix. <laughs> what are they supposed to do? <laughs> GG's. Their fault for not playing a counter spell. Played worlds and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta. If you don't have a counter spell, you can't stop it. You need to either wipe my board. So I can vulnerable to avalanches, I'm vulnerable to many things. So you either need to do that, or you need to have a counter spell. 30 out of 48 run this card at Worlds? Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Gwen... Vain Gwen, eh? Vain Gwen. Okay. No spell in the opening hand, but we do have a rummage. So, take a look at this. I think I'm deliberately not going to Poro Cannon our Flame Chompers here, so we can rummage it. Come on, I'll take you all on. Time to get my hands dirty. Ooh, he got Scout out of the Reaper of the Sands. Gross. He can give his Gwen Scout now. Our opponent has an out, never potentially. Ends, Very good. Scout on Gwen. Honestly, Scout on Butler is good too because we don't have fearsome blockers. Um, I guess we'll do this. I really want to rummage, but um, getting our Poros out is good too, right? Yeah, he went for it. We have our get excited. Should we need it? Nothing escapes my notice. Keep it up. Or chief being very cash money for us here. I probably have to get excited. The Phantom Butler. Honestly, we have a Poppy. I think we don't. Maybe. Oh, okay. We'll we'll play for our Poppy lethal. Play for a poppy lethal. Yes, yes. <laughs> Join us. Poppy, poppy. Very strong is poppy. Track them down. Very well. Just hitting him for a casual nine. Death no biggie. Death. Now the problem is, is Gwen comes down with Scout. So we probably still lose, but we can always hope. Actually, we can Keeper's Verdict the Gwen. Yeah, Demacia's spells are, uh, they, they hit different. They hit different. Oh, fair, fair. Phantom Butler, okay. As long as if he lays down the Gwen, we have a Keeper's Verdict here, so. Or if he lays down something big, I think we still have the win. Because Poppy with the Poros is lethal. Draw. Um. Thrall's worth keepers verdicting because I need to not I need the Poros alive. Remember to roll. Need the Poros alive. To be fair, he has Vein Scout Rally here. So that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Let's see if he knows how to do it. Allow me. He does not. Oh, he's fearsome though. Oh, so we lose the poppy. That's fine. We have. We don't have the other poppy. Uh, sure you wanna do this? We are still wider than him though, so should still be fine. Come on, people. Let's 
make tomorrow today. That's fine. Atro is a card. Atro is a card. Should have played around Atro. Nothing is Does he have Atro? Oh, no Atro. Perfect. And that's diamonds. Love to see it. Diamonds day three of the patch is really good. To be fair, there are the LP buffs, but I don't normally diamond this quickly. And I wasn't even trying to climb. <laughs> 